Hello everybody and welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle match here. This is Castle Perfect and uh, today I have a very special video here because it's a double battle. It's not a single battle like I usually do. Um, this guy or this girl actually totally took me by surprise when she challenged me. Once again, this is one of those random trainers which I totally don't know. I don't know if they have a YouTube channel. I don't I don't know anything about this guy. So let's go ahead and jump into this battle. I'm going to start off with Myrodactyl and Agra. She's going to start off with the Flygon and Jolteon. Now obviously Jolteon is most likely going to target my Aerodactyl, so I'm going to switch him out and um, bring out my Gudra so I can take the Thunderbolt which is most likely coming my way. I'm gonna Mega Evolve with my Aggron simply because of the fact that I need a lot of defense so I can take hits from that Flygon which will most likely be targeting my Aggron. So just like I predicted he's going to go for the Thunderbolt, hits my Gudra, very lucky on her part but she gets the Paralyzed Hex, well not Hex, she just gets uh, the par Paralysis status on my Gudra which is not too good. So I'm actually going to go with the Power Punch against the Jolteon and get a plus one attack as Flygon actually goes for the Earth Power and hits my Aggron for about 45% damage. Well that's pretty decent, not gonna lie. But now that my Gudra is out on the field, I'm most certainly that that Flygon is probably going to target my Gudra. Therefore, I'm going to withdraw my Gudra, send out my Gardevoir, and be totally unaffected by the Dragon-type uh, move that is most likely coming my way. And at this point, he goes for the Discharge, gets a Paralyzed Hex on both of my guys. Luckily for me, I am running the Lumberry on my Gardevoir, therefore I do recover from the Paralysis. I'm going to go for the Heavy Slam on the Jolteon. You could say it's not super effective, but it is still a huge difference between weight, uh, between uh, you know Mega, Aggron and Jolteon, because Jolteon is way lighter and Heavy Slam just hits harder the heavier the user is. So Jolteon goes down and he actually switch his uh, Flygon for his uh, Sigard or Sigard or Sigarde, whatever it's called. Um, and that is totally fine by me as he brings out also a Aegislash. And as we all know guys, you totally know that I totally dislike Aegislash. I don't like that Pokemon because of the fact that it's overused already and the games are just brand new. And two, it's, it's pretty ugly in my opinion. It's, I just don't like it. Um, I go for the Will-O-Wisp and get a burn on him as he goes for the Shadow Claw, hits my Gardevoir for super effective damage, does a lot of damage, almost takes me out, then I'm going to proceed to go with uh, my Moonblast, that's going to take out that Sigard or Sigarde, Sigard or whatever it's called, if you guys could just please tell me in the comment section below how you pronounce the name of that guy, that would totally help me out in the long run. So. He's going to, or she's actually going to proceed and go for a Shadow Claw on my Gardevoir. That's pro probably going to take me out, and I already anticipated that move. Therefore, I go for the Earthquake and take down Aegislash. So the only remaining guy on this field right now is going to be my Aggron, which is totally fine by me because Aggron has been le ha has has been such a monster uh, so far into this game. It's still standing after taking s uh, that all those hits. It's it's incredible. So I'm going to bring out my Aerodactyl as she brings out uh, her Ninja and Blaziken and unfortunately I do miss my Rock Slide on both of the targets which is, you know, it's totally mind-blowing that I actually ended up missing both of them and uh, she's going to go for the Hydro Pump with the Ninja or Greninja and um, we could see there that that Greninja had Protein therefore she becomes a pure water type and you know hits me for super effective damage takes down my Redact with a critical hit then proceeds to go for the Sky Uppercut with the Blaze Skin against my Aggron, Aggron goes down as well so she basically took down two of my Pokemons in one turn which is totally fine by me, I'm still having the advantage over here I still got Gudra left and Cloyster just makes his first appearance into this game um, she is going to Mega F off with the Blaziken, which is going to scare the living crap out of me. At this point, I basically lost, you know, I lost, you know, the, uh, how do you call that? The will to fight, so to speak, because I was like, this Blaziken is totally going to rape Gudra and, um, uh, that Greninja is probably going to do some work on Kloitzer, but apparently she was not that smart. I, I don't, I don't even know what happened there. She went for the Brave Bird on the Kloitzer. Um, not smart. She goes for the Hydro Pump on Gudra. Not smart. Oh, I mean, she actually went for the Hydro Pump, I think, on... Yeah, I don't even know what happened there, but I'm not even following the battle right now. It's going too fast. So she's actually going to get a speed boost on the Blaze Scan this turn, and then she's going to proceed to go for the Overhit. Guess on who? On Gudra. Yeah, I don't, I don't... Don't ask me why she even did that, because I have no explanation for that. It's not super effective, and as we all know, Gudra has the the biggest special defense of any dragon out there possible, alright? So, 
period. So, uh, that Greninja is going to go for a Hydro Pump, gonna hit my Cloyster, and Cloyster still <laughs> hanging on there. That is such a tough guy. I'm going to go for the Aurosphere and take him down, which is awesome, and Draco Meteor to the face against that Mega Blaze again, and that is not going to be able to take it. Therefore, double down. Just payback time, girl. That's what you get when you mess around with my Mega Aggron and Aerodactyl. That's exactly what you'll get. But once again, I am very lucky that she was not as smart as I thought she would be. Because if I were her, I would have targeted my, uh, I would target my uh, Gudra with both guys and take down Gudra because she's probably the biggest threat at this point because she can take, or, or he can take the most hits out of them all. So, and once again, she proves her worth because it's she. What, what the hell, man? Gudra just took a Draco Meteor, super effective, stab from a Flygon, and did absolutely nothing. Because that is nothing damage. That was incredible. So I am able to take down that Flygon, and that is pretty much going to be a good game. I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Remember to follow me on Twitter. Add me on Facebook. Thank you very much for all the support. I do appreciate it a lot. Welcome to every single subscriber. And I'll see you guys next time.